Yep, it's your boy DJ Academic. Said, hold up, hold my phone. God damn it, the thought meter is approaching extreme levels. Now, Mimi Foss from Loving Hip Hop Atlanta, y'all know who she is. She's a perennial passenger on Stevie J's Greyhound bus. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the unthinkable has happened. She got a sex tape. <laughs> Now, the spin cycle that we all know would happen for this has already started. They're claiming that this sex tape got leaked by someone who found it, gave it to Vivid, and Vivid then approached them to buy the rights for the sex tape, which they both signed off on. Negro, please. Now, you guys can check the description for stills in the trailer, but real quick, Vivid or Mimi, whoever wants to take the blame or the credit for putting this nonsense out, if you think that I'm going to be spending my hard-earned dollar on this stage coonery? You are sadly mistaken. We got bitches sucking off niggas on Vine compilation videos. The fuck you think is so special about your sex tape? Come on. And to keep it real, a nigga paying for porn in these days, in 2014, is equivalent to a nigga paying for a Dat Piff mixtape. You must be a fucking idiot. To even think I'd pay to watch a stage sex scene between a 42 year old cougar with high mileage pussy which is clocking about half a million miles at this point that's going through hundreds of oil changes and dozens of tune ups and has some stretched out pussy lips is insulting. I wouldn't pay for that nonsense but after seeing these stills in the trailer it's clear. Stevie J. You must pull the emergency brake on your Greyhound bus and let Mimi off at the nearest bus stop that she could wait on the appropriate bus, the Bang Bros bus. Now, if you're asking the question of what could you expect from a 42-year-old woman's sex tape, well, I could tell you this. Expect the average porn scenes with, of course, with a twist of reality slut in it. So, it'll probably include a menu filled with appetizers such as some choking, some slapping, some anal fisting, and maybe even some salad tossing. And then, of course, the entree would have a facial, golden shower, some anal penetration, and, of course, watching a chick getting penetrated with no vaginal walls. <sighs> Think about the hollow pussy getting thrusted and donkey fucked while she's making fake moaning noises and looking into the camera with a demonic stare just peeking into your soul while you're watching the struggle. You'll get to realize what a soulless bitch she is. But now, check it. Listen. This is what I really want to address. Listen, the sad part of this whole situation is that she's a mother. Yes, she is a mother. She's 42 years of age and she's a mother to a 4 year old. Now the problem nowadays is that these reality chicks see that there is more money in being a celebrity than having any type of talent or skill. So you see everyone latching on to their 5 minutes of fame and I know many single moms are out there in the black community having a real tough time raising their kids but seeing this on a reality show or seeing this type of behavior really encourages you to go down the path of fuckery. Now imagine the child, imagine the child watching her mama one week on TV acting like an insecure side chick baby mama and then the next week she's sucking on a skin flute on a vivid porno. I mean, some of these single mothers that are out here that are not dead broke are just flat out disgusting. I mean, it's reported that she's making three stacks an episode. She's getting tons of party bookings. I mean, I gotta imagine she's pulling like upwards of 70k a year just from everything that she does. At least in the last two years or so. So what is the point of doing this? And also, it adds to the reason why kids are now fucked up in the head because they have no respect for females. How could you, as her daughter now, then grow up to be someone who respect women? If your mom is showcasing that she is nothing but a cum-guzzling ghetto gagger, a hood rat thought on TV and on the net. Now, this goes without even saying, but I hate to say it, but I have to. Her daughter is being groomed from a baby thoughtler to mirror the thoughty ways of her own thought mom. And to make matters worse, and for those who don't watch Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, Mimi. She divulged last season that her mother abandoned her at 13, and because of that, she made some bad decisions. Well, as I always say, it's a never-ending cycle with these bad parenting and really lack of a stable household because this is setting another bad example for the youth.
And before you niggas with capes jump in the comment box, let me clear this shit up now. No one leaked this fucking sex tape. They obviously shopped it to Vivid. There ain't nobody walking around her crib trying to find a sex tape of a chick with a five head getting donkey fucked. And just from the stills alone, it looks like there's someone in the room actually taping it. But to keep it real, from day one, I knew there was something up with this chick. If Stevie J never proposed to her after that long, fucking her like an orangutan, why would anyone else? She's probably something fucked up in the head or there was something not there. A lot of people on social media call Stevie J a dog for not treating her right, but clearly after seeing this, we should have just forced her to get down with the LPG, the Life Partnership Gang. And after everything I've said, you guys might just say, this nigga just don't like porn. Well, actually, that's opposite of what I really like. I do like porn. I like porn, but the amateur sense. I like it with no cameraman. Just leave the camera on a tripod or a good old webcam. Mediocre lighting and just real moans, passionate. What? Why wouldn't I like that? I don't like the stage shit at all. But of course, all in all, as I said before, cut the fuckery out, Mimi. I guess after Peter Guns was wilding on Love and Hip Hop New York, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta had to step their game the fuck up. We saw what's been happening. Benzino, he got shot by his cousin at his mom's funeral. What? Then we saw Stevie J. He owes a million dollars in child support. And now we're seeing Mimi Foss taking hard cocking balls in her trachea. Jesus Christ. Lord, help us. The fuckery, the ratchetness. You guys got to weigh in. What do you think about a 42-year-old Mimi Foss putting out a sex tape of her getting dicked down by a nigga with a fake Rolex? It's your boy DJ Academics. I can't take this nonsense. I'm out. Make sure you comment, subscribe, and of course like.